What's up everybody? Behind me, I have a 2008 Chevy Tahoe with the 5.3 liter engine in it. It has the uh, displacement on demand and it started making a noise recently. Most people go straight to the lifters as having the issue with the um, DOD lifters um, failing, but I've taken the valve covers off and I don't have any issue with that right now. So what I'm gonna do is take down the oil pan and change out the oil pickup tube O-ring Obviously, if you guys are having a noise, you come across this um, plenty of times. I think that's what this noise is. This noise is way more of a knock than a lifter sound. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. This is a four wheel drive model. So I do have to drop the front differential some and work the oil pan out, which is gonna take a long time. Um, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, just very time consuming to do this. I do live in New England, so everything on this is going to be a little rusty and a little bit harder to get out. I'm hoping I don't run into any issues with that and I can get this done. Today is a very nice day out here um, for March, but tomorrow is gonna be a little bit rainy and worse. So I'm hoping I can get a bunch of stuff done today and get it going and then maybe finish up tomorrow if it's not too bad out here. But I do have this noise in this car. It's not always there, it comes and goes. So it's been a little bit of an issue, but I need to take care of it or I just need to dump the truck. This Tahoe's got 187,000 miles on it and it is a little rusty from being in New England. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a nice, quick, easy fix. I don't really wanna to put too much money into it. If it was perfect, I would put another engine in it, but at this point, it's not worth it. Here's the car right here. Like I said, it's got 187,000 miles on it. It's been trouble free, no issues. Um, I've barely put any money into it, so it's been awesome for us. So I'm hoping this is a you know an easy fix. I'm going to start it up right now. Hopefully it'll make the noise. Sometimes it doesn't, but we will see. So it's it's got a little bit of a noise right now. Sometimes it sounds like it's coming from one side more than the other. Um, that's why I looked at the lifters and the lifters are fine. One reason why I think it might be the oil pickup tube O-ring is that we do get a low oil pressure uh, message on the dash, which we've got before. And I changed out the oil pressure sensor, which is common to go in these after a certain amount of miles. I've done that to my Escalade also, and that fixed that issue. So between it having low oil pressure and the knocking noise more than a lifter noise, that's what I'm hoping it's gonna be. This video is not going to be a how-to video, but if you guys are researching what could be wrong with yours, I'm hoping you guys find this video and get a little bit of information from it before you um, spend a lot of money. I'm gonna get started and get this all unbolted and see where we go. All right, so I have the oil pan out right here, as you can see, and the oil pickup tube. You can see the O-ring right here on the end. It's very square. Um, it's not cut. It doesn't look like it has any cuts. It feels very hard and brittle, but it is squared off. The new one I have right here is obviously nice and round. So I'm hoping that this is the issue with this and makes the noise. Um, there was no, I wiped this off, but there was no gunk or anything in the screen, which was nice to see. It has been a while since I've changed the oil and I thought maybe that would have some debris or something in it, but that was actually pretty clean. So I'm happy to see that. Um, the oil pan looks pretty good. A lot of these little marks in there is just from uh, stuff falling off the engine, trying to get it out from underneath the car. So there's nothing, you know, horribly wrong looking in there. And like I said, this right here, I think is what the problem is gonna be. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that that's gonna fix it. Here's underneath, you can see the differential hanging there. I had to take off both CV axles and then I still couldn't get it out. And I, I unbolted the steering rack right here to drop that down because the lines on the top were hitting the oil pan. And once I dropped that down, it came right out. It still is a very tight squeeze, but it's really only a bunch of bolts everywhere that you have to take out. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I probably did all of this in about two hours, maybe even less. So it's not horrible. Obviously, if you had a lift, it'd be a lot easier to do. 
but I'm gonna get everything swapped over and put it back together and hopefully it'll cure the noise. All right guys, so it's been a couple weeks since I did the oil pickup tube o-ring um, as you know i did a before shot of how bad this sounded and i waited a couple weeks before i did this update just to make sure everything was good and there was no other noises or anything weird that happened after i did that so i'm going to start this up for you right now and show you how quiet it is it's almost like new obviously this has um, quite a few miles on it so it might not sound perfect but that horrible knocking noise that everybody thinks is lifters is definitely gone. So I'm gonna start this up right now. All right, so. All right, so here it is. As you can hear, hopefully there's no horrible noise going on. not um, making any sort of noise that you would think that the engine is about to blow up or the lifters are gone or anything else. It's um, quiet as it was before. So as you can see, I think that pretty much did fix my issue. I don't have a lifter issue, but a lot of people I see on the forums and on Facebook, they hear a noise and everybody automatically goes to a lifter issue. Like I said before, this car does have the um, active fuel management and I have not you know, disabled it or anything. It has 185,000 miles on it, I think it is now. So this vehicle doesn't have anything disabled. It's running it completely stock. The knocking noise was horrible and most people are gonna tell you that it's lifters. A shop might even tell you that it's lifters and charge you a lot of money to be able to fix it. But if you guys hear any noises like this one had, I would definitely do the O-ring on the oil pickup tube. For the O-ring and the gaskets and everything else, I'm gonna leave those links in the description. So if you guys are looking to do this, you can go right down there, follow the links, and then buy exactly what I did for this. It should work for all the 2007 to 14 Tahoes, Escalades, Yukons, um, GMC, Chevy, Suburbans, all of those. So hopefully if you guys are watching this and you have a noise like this, I'm hoping that you guys try to spend a day and a couple dollars to do this O-ring and then see if it fixes your problem without spending two, three thousand dollars at a shop replacing lifters that don't actually do anything to fix your issue, just like this one was. So thank you guys for watching. Any questions, let me know. If you need any other follow-up videos or anything else, I would gladly do that for you. So just leave me a comment. Thank you guys for watching.